But first, fast moving flames tearing through a Del Paso Heights tire shop, moving dangerously close to a church before Sunday service. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 13 News at 10, also streaming on CBS and I'm Steve Large. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is live in North Sacramento with the damage and the man who jumped into action to help. Ryan. Yeah, that's right. You can see crews are boarding up this section of this tire shop. You can just see the damage that was caused by this fire, the heat from those flames just shattering the windows and charring everything inside. The family of the shop's owner says that they are a strong family and they'll be trying to come together for each other during this time. The sounds of sirens wailing in the distance as fire crews race towards a burning tire shop on Del Paso Boulevard and Lampasas Avenue. Family of the shop's owner tell me the fire sparked after he closed up shop for the day. I think about 2.30 he left from here and everything was cool. And like four, about 4 o'clock he got a call at the house, hey, you know, you're building is on fire. As crews rushed to put out the fire, Paul Chamberlain also jetted across town from a Father's Day barbecue in Carmichael to help the church he takes care of. Frantic calls about a fire. You want to maybe leave a little quicker from where you're at. The church groundskeeper stopped to get a hose on the way to the church. And immediately I knew from just approaching the area that it was a tire shop on the corner. And then I just had nothing but fears that anything and everything around it was possibly on fire. Armed with a hose and hope, Paul did whatever he could to protect his cherished church. By the time I got up on the roof with my son, uh, about two or three more fires were starting in the roof tiles up top. I grabbed my hose and started pointing to the fire department, but I was able to put the fire out before they got there. As the smoke clears and the fire is put out, there's something people are holding on to now that the damage is done. I was just hoping that the place was still standing and that it could be saved. We have a good, strong family. We told him not to worry about it. And Things happen for the reasons. We believe in that. Investigators are still looking into the cause of the fire and where it started. It's also evaluating the damage that was done to the church. The Sacramento Fire Department tells me that one firefighter was taken to the hospital for heat-related injuries. 